from BYU TV and today they surprised me with a tour of the campus and also some swag. This is so cool. So this is actually my first week here at BYU and it's been so much fun. I've loved it so far and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. But today I think our first stop is to stop at the BYU Creamery which is like known for their super good ice cream. I'm so excited. I haven't had this for a while. So yeah, let's go. This is BYU's number one selling ice cream. It's called the Graham Canyon. I have not tried it yet, so. All right, ready? First taste test. Mmm. <gasps> this is actually really good. It has like, you could, t it's like a graham cracker, like totally like a s'more. Like you could taste the chocolate, the graham cracker. It's so perfect, it's awesome. All right, this is a thumbs up for me. Definitely recommend. And if you're in the Provo area, definitely stop by and check out the Creamery. All right, so now we're taking a tour around campus and they actually just finished up their pool this year. Perfect time because this is when I'm starting school. So, oh wow. That's pretty nice. That is, that's giant. I feel like that's They have diving boards. Oh, that's so cool. So do you know like, can anyone just go swimming here or? So just generally students can come swimming here. Um, a lot of times you can sign up for a swim class, a swim team. But other than that, I think they just have free time during the night when students can come and swim laps. Night swimming, oh, that sounds so fun. That'd be like a great afternoon, like maybe Friday night activity. Cool, love it. <laughs> This is Cosmo BYU's mascot. Ah, this is so cool. Do you have any tricks? That's like your go-to tricks. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I can't do that. I could probably do a cartwheel, but definitely not backflip. Um, <laughs> I'll do a cartwheel. I don't think I could do a backflip. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get that slow clap. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so Cosmo's at the games. He just like peps everyone up. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Cosmo. That's so cool. All right, so now we're just gonna go around campus and see some of the cool buildings here. And we have a go-kart, so that's nice. We don't have to walk everywhere, it's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the Brigham Young statue. This is kind of like the centerpiece. I don't know, that's what right. I think of it, the whole college. So, um, Becca has a few fun facts about it. So, Brigham Young is the founder of Brigham Young University. Who would have thought, right? Um, he's the one who led um, the Latter-day Saints across the West, and then he had this idea that everybody should have an opportunity to have higher education. So that's how we're Brigham Young University. Um, right here behind us, this is our um, administration building. Um, this is just where all of our offices are that help us with, you know, finance, tuition, scholarships, um, kind of figuring out our lives. So really nice people working here. Yeah, and this building, it's in the shape of an X, right? Yeah, there's no treasure underneath it. Oh, dang it. Uh, <laughs> just for architecture. Yeah, and like everything here is so beautiful. Like the, the flowers are always like kept up so nice and they're vibrant. And, I don't know if you guys could tell, but there, there's like the mountains over there, and then later I'll show you there's the big Y on top of the mountains. But yeah, this campus is amazing and so beautiful. So I'm glad I get to go here, and they like they keep it up so nice. All right, all right, on to our next stop. Yeah, let's go to the next place. Let's go. All right, so here's the Y from earlier. You can see it while you're walking on campus. But right now, I'm in front of the library, which is really cool. It's completely see-through. It kind of looks like a greenhouse. That's what it reminds me of. But it is giant. So they have six floors. It's really big, has a lot of resources, which is nice. And it's open till midnight. And when people or when students are taking their finals, it's open till 2 a.m. So that's pretty cool. Um, very nice to have. Yeah. All 
Alright, so the building behind me is super cool. It's actually one of my most favorite buildings. So that's where your astronomy classes are, your nutrition classes, and they have something really cool there where kids can go in and taste test foods and they'll actually pay five dollars. So that's pretty fun and the inside is just so cool. They have a bunch of dinosaur bones, they have geodes, and yeah, I, I love this. There's a planetarium up top. It's like this giant dome where they project constellations. You can learn all about it in astronomy. So definitely one of my top 10 favorite buildings. All right, so this building is the Carl G. Mazur building. And that was actually the first building built on campus. It's one of the oldest, but it's also really cool. Um, so up top, as you can see, there's a little beehive, which stands, it's like Utah's symbol, and it stands for hardworking, and yeah. Um, Carl G. Mazur was also one of our founders. He um, began a small school in 1875, and then in 1911, um, the Brigham Young University started. And so they built this building. It's where our honors program operates out of. So yeah. um, all our really smart classes are in here. <laughs> and the whole inside is marble. So I haven't been inside actually. So I think let's go take a look. Hi, we're going inside. Ooh. Well, this kind of reminds me of a hotel. <laughs> this is so pretty. And it's so clean too. We're at the top of the staircase. Wow. All right, so now we're going inside the BYU store where you can get all of your merch. This is, there's a lot in here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, lots of different shirts you can get. <laughs> all these different BYU options. Pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen like this big of a yeah, it's a big. store. They also have really good fudge that you can buy. Ooh. So. Treats. Treats <laughs> I like that. Oh, this is cool. Wow, and they have like the banners too and license plates. actually a couple days later but I thought it'd be fun to reflect on what we did and also how my first year of college has been going so far all right so to begin this whole video I actually it was a big surprise to me like I had no clue that we were gonna go around campus and do all those fun activities I guess my dad planned it behind my back with some of the people that work here at BYU so I want to thank my dad and John from BYU TV and also Sarah and Becca for helping me out. That was so sweet of them and I didn't even expect to do all that. One minute, hold up. Gotta put on my hat that I got. It's so cute. All right, so as you guys saw before, we went around on a tour around the campus. Hopefully you kind of saw some of the buildings that is pretty good representation of BYU. My favorite so far is definitely the planetarium and the whole uh, science building like inside is just so pretty and there's dinosaurs and geodes and constellations so that's been my most favorite building so far but there are so many beautiful buildings on campus like that one building that has marble all inside of it um, I haven't been in all the buildings just because there's 92 on campus it's a pretty big campus and to be honest when I first got here at college I feel like I started sixth grade all over again because I was so nervous about getting to my classes on time and being able to just like get my way around and like make new friends but the first day I've got to admit I was like completely lost thank goodness for student orientation because that really helped me to orientate myself I guess and like be able to tell what direction I'm going in and you guys I'm getting so good at being able to tell like where north south east and west are because before I had no idea so yeah the first day I was definitely confused it is a giant campus but then as the days go on I got better and better and now I think I can pretty much be able to get anywhere I want hopefully without getting lost um, but BYU has this app um, that specific for the school and basically you can map out all your classes which is really nice and it's like a GPS so it'll take you to your class 
and that was really helpful. I didn't even know that was a thing. So if you're if you're planning on coming to BYU, um, definitely download the app. I think it's just called BYU because it's really helpful. It can it has so many features on it. It maps out your classes. You can add and drop classes there. You can check your grades, like everything. All right, guys. Now I think we should start talking about the creamery. That was so yummy. The ice cream was delicious. Now, I've got to admit, I'm not one who explores the different flavors of ice cream very much. I, once I find something that I like, I just stick with it. So, you know, like my favorites are Cherry Garcia and mint chocolate chip ice cream. But the Graham was definitely delicious and that's what they're most known for. So, I mean, if you ever go to the creamery, definitely got to get that one. I'm not even like, this is not for the video. Like I'm totally being 100% honest. That was really good. <laughs> also meeting Cosmo the Cougar was so cool. He had some pretty cool tricks to show me and I'm excited to see him at the football games. I couldn't go to the first one sadly, but the next one I'm pretty pumped for. So yeah. A lot of you guys have been asking on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter on how I've been doing so far in college and I've actually made a video all about my first week of college experience and it's on odd vlogs so be sure you check that out but so far it's been good I explain more in detail on that channel but I'll just kind of go over it a little bit for those of you only subscribed to this one which you should just go subscribe to the other one too but it's been so it's been good so far the first day it was really weird because I was all by myself I felt kind of lonely because I didn't know anyone I went to the school not really knowing many people I think I knew like three people total but they don't live where I live and I don't ever see them I don't have any classes with them so all my friends went to other colleges, my family is two hours away, and it was scary. But then after that, things got better, and it's more fun. Like, there's a ton of activities you can go to, and everyone here is super friendly, the environment is just really nice, and like, you can go talk to anyone, and they won't like give you an eye roll, or just ignore you, or you know, think you're being annoying. <laughs> Speaking of my family and missing them, they're actually here right now. So, um, I'm gonna see what they think of my apartment. Everyone's here! Woo! Okay, they haven't seen my room yet, so no. let's get your reactions. Da, 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 da. I thought this was gonna be way bigger. <laughs> well, this is the room I have. It's actually kind of big for a college room, but yeah. What do you what do you think? I don't know what, what to think. <laughs> it was like coffee. Yeah. Can I have the last <laughs> one? Okay, you guys. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now that my family is here for the weekend, we are gonna film a bunch of videos together. So Be stay excited. tuned for those. Subscribe at just Jordan Thirty Three for my channel. Oh, no. Self promo. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what are you doing? All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and hit the bell. Now I'm doing the That YouTube Family's outro, now that you guys are here. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.